exist in our solar system is fairly hostile to life. Thanks to its toxic gases and overpowering gravity. Not only is it pretty cold out at Jupiter, uh, it's also, you know, it's got this really thick atmosphere, tens of thousands of miles thick, and it's got ammonia and methane, you know, things you use to clean the bathroom. But Jupiter has more than 60 moons that we know about. At first glance, those moons would seem unlikely places to see alien life. Their atmospheres are thin. The scientific probes Voyager and Galileo have detected little on the surface of these moons but ice. With one dramatic exception. Io is one of the closest moons to Jupiter. When NASA sent Voyager 1 to Io in 1979, astronomers were astonished to find its surface roiling with giant volcanoes. Io is the most volcanically active place in the solar system, just spewing volcanic material from its surface all the time. What could be heating the interior of this frigid moon? Amazingly, it's the force of gravity from Jupiter. The giant planet exerts an enormous gravitational pull on its moons. The closer the moon, the stronger the force. So strong, it can actually stretch their crusts. But some of these moons have elliptical orbits. So as they near Jupiter, the crust stretches toward it. When they move further away, the crust relaxes back towards spherical. This constant tidal movement creates friction deep inside, and that friction generates heat. It's like rubbing two sticks together to start a fire. The pull of Jupiter is heating Io from the inside out. Volcanic fumes and lack of water make Io inhospitable to life. But Jupiter's other large moons are more distant, close enough for Jupiter's gravity to warm them from within, but distant enough to remain calm on the surface. Three of them look particularly promising as possible homes for alien life.